Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Thursday, September 30th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is our collective reading of absolutely positively, relentlessly optimistic energy as we use this energy and this reading to help us manifest the life that we choose, the life that we are moving toward rather than what we've experienced in the past. So we leave all of that behind starting from this moment, from today. This is a reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. This is more focused on how to make it through each day, picking yourself up, turning everything back to the way you want it, and using the energy to manifest your best possible life now. We use the energy of the law of attraction. We use the energy of manifestation and the law of divine compensation. So with that being said, if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So without any further ado, uh, you will notice I have just had a birthday and I have some cool new uh, blingage going on here. Those are my little treasures. I have a new um, Moldavite ring and a citrine ring. So we did a little change up. Here we go. I just had to, I had to introduce them to the energy of the reading because this is, this is brand new for them. Here we go. And we have the Ten of Wands with the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Wands is the energy of letting go of what no longer serves you. It is very strong and dynamic energy of getting out from under the heaviness, releasing the burden. The struggle is over. Definitely letting go of that. And then we have the Seven of Cups, which is blessings in abundance. I call this the dump truck load of blessings because it shows up all at once and it's very overwhelming. It is a good thing, though, because it's what you want. It just means it's all going to show up all at the same time. So once you're prepared for that, you just have to be like, I know this is a lot of work, but it's what I wanted. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you for your presence, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, that second cut card was the Six of Pentacles. That's the energy of a windfall or something turning out better than you'd hoped or more than you'd hoped for. So, we like that energy very much. We have the Eight of Wands. So this is active new energy, very positive, strong new beginning, communication, negotiation, and in some cases, air travel. So it is fast moving and it is positive charged energy. We have receptivity as our top card. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve. This is half the battle is being when it shows up not to turn it away, right? Uh, that's part of that six of rods energy is uh, to make sure, not six of rods, um, ten of rods, making sure that you you understand that you don't have to keep carrying the burden. Don't don't allow yourself to keep going back to try to pick up that load because it, it's not for you to carry anymore. And being receptive to that is hard sometimes when you get in the habit of being the one who's always carrying the world on top of your shoulders. So, attitude. I attract success and positive people into my life with my positive attitude. That is so true, true, true. We accept and receive that energy. As we are positive, positive energies move toward us. Realize that some of the people in your life may not be attuned to the positive energy you're trying to manifest. And therefore, it will repel them and they will change. It, you will, the people you associate with are going to change because you're changing. And that's okay because you're going to bring in the people that actually resonate with you. Listen to your intuition. Never a truer statement made. The still 
small voice. It's not going to yell at you. It's going to just give you this information and it's your free will whether you use it or not. Just remember not to ignore it. Don't try to drown it out just because it's trying to come in. It's not something you're not being possessed. It is your inner, higher inner self. Belief. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. This is true and so important because your belief, my darlings, is the key to this whole ball of wax. If you aren't in a place where you can be open and believe that the universe is conspiring in your favor, then you've got more work to do before you actually can get to the point where things start to show up. So work on your belief. If you're, if you're not receiving what you've asked for and, and it doesn't seem to be working and you feel like it's, you're not connected, go back and root out some of your beliefs that may be blocking what this is. Because if you have one little tiny thing it's just like, have you ever been in the grocery store? This is a great one. So they just showed me the basket going. Ee, ee, ee. So they just immediately took me to that moment. You know how there'll be like a, a bean, like a pinto bean has fallen out of the bag or something really tiny, something so tiny, you may not be able to really even see it. But as soon as your basket cartwheel hits it, it'll throw you to the right or the left or it'll just make that skeeching noise as it goes. And you roll back and you see it's just this tiny little dried thing like a, a pinto bean or a, a piece of rice or something that's come out of a bag. That's the whole thing is that one little thing can catch you up. You know, it can, it can hold you or, or cause you to have a little stumble. So... That's the key for somebody. I'm really feeling this very strongly. If you're having a moment where you feel like it's not working, go back and exercise through some of Just ask your higher self. Get in, a, get in a, a situation where you're nice and calm and relaxed. Do a meditation and some deep breathing and ask your higher self. And then if it doesn't come right away, let it go because it's going to come. And that's what this is about, listening to it when it shows up. It'll either come in a, like a moment of clarity when you wake up in the morning or it'll just show up the thought or the idea that's been blocking you will present itself. Because once you ask higher self to show it to you, it has to be shown. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. It's exactly this. That's exactly what this is saying. Your belief is what creates what you see. All my relationships are harmonious. That's a really good one to have, to believe for that. When you create harmony in, when we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. Absolutely. All my relationships are harmonious. Well, that one doesn't want to go, so I'm going to stop there. It said stop. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I love and approve of myself. This is a big deal because we always have this self-judgment on different things. Being in a place where you actually love the person you are is a huge victory because sometimes we are the well we usually are the hardest not even sometimes mostly we are hardest on ourselves than anyone else I love and approve of myself I appreciate all that I do I am good enough just as I am I speak up for myself I ask for what I want I claim my power I love and approve of myself. Drum roll, the fool. Fabulous new energy coming in. The fool is the new beginning, the closure of the old, the beginning of the new. And it is an adventure. You see, she's ready to take the leap. And it's got the sun in the background and the beautiful crystal here, crystal point. 
And next we have the Princess of Swords. This is where we can bend the light to allow us to look within and this part where we're going to do the investigation to feel, figure out what our actual inner thought is that's caught us caught up. It gives you the perspective of the light. So this is bringing in the information you need to be able to proceed. So whether it's your higher self or divine giving you this information, you're being told and shown. And the Nine of Wands, which is where we've kind of built ourselves up. Remember, the very beginning of this reading, you have the Ten, so you know that's coming. But you may be at that standstill moment where you're right this moment in the place of feeling like, I don't know if I, if I should continue forward with this because it seems like it's taking forever. Do not give up five minutes before your miracle. Allow yourself to do the inner work and bring yourself to the place where you can now take action, which is, so you got the eight, nine, and the ten of wands. It all showed up. That's a pretty good uh, progression. So I don't know that that's happened before, that all three of a series have come out in a reading. So it's saying it's a new beginning, and that ten of rods was certainly going with it when we first cut the cards. So this is a cycle change. The only thing holding you up or making you feel stuck is your inner thoughts. Investigate and clear them and you'll be able to move forward. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste my friends.